What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from dopetechdaily.com. Today I wanna to show you guys a really cool app that I found that you can add a really nice feature to your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Now, a lot of you guys probably know that the Google Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 XL, the HTC U11 from last year, they have this feature where you can squeeze the side of your phone and it actually activates Google Assistant, activates an app or a toggle in your notification setting. Well, there's now a third-party app that's been developed. It's in testing right now, so it's not 100% stable, but I want to bring you guys this early. It's called Side Squeeze, and the app itself allows you to do the same things that you could do with your Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL, or the HTC U11. Now, there are a couple of drawbacks, and I'll talk about them in this video, but let me just demonstrate basically what you can do with the app. You can set different actions based on contextual events. While the screen is on, I have it open up my recent screen when I squeeze the sides of the phone. When the home screen is open, it launches Spotify. While the lock screen is open, it launches the camera. And this one I have not been able to get to work. While the screen is off, launch the camera. Uh, that one, for whatever reason, you have to press the power button when you do that. I'll talk more about that when I go through the full setup in a second. Um, you can also add a long squeeze if you want. So you can squeeze it for a longer amount of time and then set also some different actions to do that. So just to demonstrate to you that it works, if I hold the phone in my hand and I go ahead and give it a squeeze here, you'll notice it pops up my Spotify, which is what I had it set to. If I go into an app like Chrome, now it should open up my recents when I squeeze it. And it does, if I squeeze it again, doing the recents twice takes me back to my previous app. If I go to the lock screen and I give it a squeeze, you'll notice that it opens up my camera app. And if I turn the screen off, you do need always on display off in order to do this. If I give it a squeeze, it'll vibrate and then you have to press the power button to turn it back on. That is very temperamental. I've noticed that the one with the lock screen off entirely doesn't work all the time, but the other ones work pretty well. So there are a couple of things you need to do to set this up and also a few settings you need to enable. Let me go ahead and talk to you about that. Let's actually run through the setup on my smaller Galaxy S9 right here so I can show you guys what it'll look like when you download it. If you go to the Play Store, there's the app Side Squeeze on release. Like I said, it is being tested right now, so don't expect it to be 100% stable. I'll drop the link below so you can download it. Go ahead and open the app. You'll notice you'll be greeted with some permissions to access some things. Of course, it needs to access these if you want to use various squeeze gestures to open up the apps on your phone. Go ahead and tap Allow. It says you're responsible. Do not squeeze your device too hard, obviously. Don't squeeze it so hard that you're going to damage your Galaxy S9. Agree. Required step, you need to make sure that you turn off the battery optimization that Samsung has. So you tap OK, it will open up the optimization menu. What you need to do is go up to the top and choose All Apps. And then when you do that, scroll all the way near the bottom where the S's are so you can find Side Squeeze. There's a lot of apps because it's going to have all of your system apps there as well. You'll notice that Side Squeeze is being optimized. I do not want that, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Then I'll head back to the app. Another permission required here is we have to turn on accessibility services. So again, tap OK. It takes you into accessibility services. Scroll down to where you see side squeeze here at the bottom. Tap on it. Go ahead and turn the accessibility services on. Go ahead and tap OK. And then head back to the app. It says again, the disclaimer, you're responsible for squeezing your device at an appropriate amount. And I already enabled these things. so. It'll take you back to the menu to make sure that you've enabled side squeeze, turned off in the optimization. We've already done that. So the first thing you'll want to do is set up your threshold level. And this is a little tricky because I've seen that it actually requires a really low threshold to work on the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. The developers tested this on the S8 and the Note 8, so it should work on those Samsung phones as well. And in fact, it should work on anything that has water resistance and a barometric pressure sensor. So if you set it to a relatively low threshold, that's probably the best approach. Notice, while screen is on, you can tell it to do whatever you want. I set that to recents. One thing you do need to do if you want to get the home screen is open commands available, you need to run an ADB command. And because I don't want to make this video too long, I did a actual video on uh, ADB commands last year for the Galaxy S8. So if you head to the menu at the top and go to frequently asked questions, if you scroll down here, they actually tell you the ADB command that you need to get the home screen actions to work. If you just do the ADB command here, I have a full video that shows you how to enter ADB commands and how to get the ADB software on your, on your Windows PC or your Mac. So if you want to download that, I'll link the video below if you want to enable those permissions. So once you've done that and you've got all of these set up, 
There's one other thing that you might want to do before after choosing all these various pieces, whatever you want to your apps to default. The other one is to go into about. And when you go into about, you're going to want to choose this option that says hold a wake lock for screen off actions. This really makes it a little more reliable to get the screen off actions to work. If you don't care about that, you don't need to enable it. Uh, it does drain a little bit of extra battery life. So once you set up all of that various stuff, you can test squeezing the side of your device and it'll show you your actual squeeze level and show you that it works. You can run a few tests in there to see which pressure level works for you. Again, don't squeeze it so hard that it's gonna actually damage your device. But I found it to be pretty useful overall in terms of the various things that you can do. And this is a nice little option to have to add on to your other shortcuts and gestures. You can play with the long squeeze if you want. I'll show you guys my settings that I have on the Galaxy S9 Plus, which is the one that I set up fully. Once you run the ADB commands, you'll notice that little warning is no longer there. You can choose whatever you want. Like I said, the screen off commands don't work too great. There is a $1.99 fee that you have to pay to get the pro mode, which unlocks all the different commands. But if you don't care about that, you can set the commands to something really basic. I did buy the pro mode just because I like to support the developers, especially since I'm making a video on this. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. The link's in the description. You can also find me writing over gadgethacks.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.